Hello, my wonderful Aries. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can clarify the existing energies with Tara. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys, so we have one card here, time. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. Okay, so this card kind of speaks for itself here, Aries. It could be someone who is thinking of you, possibly some sort of reminiscing taking place here, but they could feel like they're viewing you as a missed opportunity or they feel like it's too late to come forward or, you know, uh, whether it's to say something to you or do something about the separation. Okay, so let's see here. So we have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck, split the deck, and we have the Three of Wands. Very interesting message that I'm getting here, Aries. This person feels like you have been waiting for truth or clarity on a situation for you know, a while here, or they feel like it has been a very long time where bringing forward some sort of truth is going to be pointless. But they do view you as someone who has been very patient or you were waiting on some sort of clarity. So whether it's you figured something out for yourself now, so, you know, it's kind of like you've gained the clarity on your own. Um, that could be the case. But I just feel like when they view you or the situation, they feel like you have been patient with them or you have been waiting on them to bring forward, again, some sort of truth or clarity is mainly what I'm getting. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we have the star card here. I'm just going to turn it around, guys, um, because of the nudity. You know how YouTube is. Um, but some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Now, what I see from the star card, guys, is essentially someone who is viewing you as very special, or at least the bond that you guys have shared is something that feels like no other. So they don't feel like anyone else makes them feel the way that you do. Okay, but bottom of the deck here, we have the three of swords. So there is a lot of hurt for letting go of you or... Uh, you know, being in a separation with you because they feel like this connection is very rare because they feel like it's, you know, irreplaceable. Behind the Three of Swords, we have the Six of Wands and the Nine of Swords. So they are thinking of victory. They are thinking of overcoming an obstacle with you, but they're very up in their head. I think that there's more worry surrounding it and, and kind of like stressing out about the situation as opposed to looking at it like, okay, well, this can happen the way that I wanted it to. I also feel, guys, like this is someone who may want your attention or your, like, um, you know, comfort at this time with that Three of Swords and Six of Wands. Like, it could be someone who feels very hurt or they're feeling a lot of sorrow and they just want you to tell them that it's going to be okay or they want your, like, uh, nurturing energy or comfort is the best way for me to explain it. Something about them having a very hard time healing from this. Yeah, Page of Pentacles in reverse. There could even be something that they're having a hard time learning or grasping. Like whether it's some sort of clarity that's in front of them. This could be something that you've uh, confessed or communicated to them. But they're having a hard time understanding it. So again, guys, it is a general read, but this can mean various things. This could be someone who's having a hard time, uh, you know, um, acknowledging why things ended between the both of you. This could be someone who's having a hard time, again, understanding something that you have communicated to them. But with that page of pentacles, you know, in reverse, because page of pentacles upright is someone like it could be an energy of like, you know, being open minded, willing to learn something new. But with it in reverse, it's either they're having a hard time understanding something or they're choosing not to acknowledge something because they have a very fixed way of thinking. So this is what's happening when it comes to their mindset. Could also be an age gap between the both of you. And when they think about what to say to you, they really, um, you know, become confused or they become, they start feeling very stuck. We have the 10 of wands. So they do feel like there's a decision here that backfired on them. They may feel like the ending was much needed or the separation was much needed, but now they're thinking about it and they feel very, you know, burdened by the decision. This is also someone who feels like they're carrying a lot of weight on their own. They feel like, um, you know, they, they this could be that they have many different responsibilities. This could be that just the 
uh, weight of a separation is, is something that is, you know, uh, weighing them down right now. But I do feel like with the Ten of Wands, it's more of a heavy energy. And with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, there's something that they're failing to accept. They may even feel like they should have been more open-minded or they should have heard you out or um, listened to something you said while you were communicating it. Again, you know, time is playing a large factor here and this person may feel like they are realizing things when it's too late. They are understanding things when it's too late. Because even starting off your read, um, Aries, we did get an energy of this person feeling like you have been very patient or you've waited um you know for some sort of clarity until you absolutely uh you know couldn't do that anymore yeah this person is unable to walk away from you though with the eight of cups there i do feel like um they still feel very connected to you but it's so hard for them to emotionally detach not only do they feel like they have a lot of history with you, this is someone who may have anticipated that you guys would come together or you guys would be able to solve, you know, an issue or an obstacle that's occurring between the both of you. But they could be very shocked at the fact that, you know, it has been a very long time and nothing was done about, you know, the separation. And now they feel like, well, I need to emotionally detach or move forward, but it doesn't change the fact that it feels very difficult. It's someone who definitely wants to return to you. I will say that. They're feeling very restless and they feel like they're unable to, you know, walk away from you, walk away from this situation. And then we have the six of pentacles in reverse and the ten of pentacles in reverse. They feel like things did not work out between the both of you because there was a lack of equal give and take. For some of you, this person could have been spreading their self too thin where they had so many different responsibilities or they were giving to more than one, uh, you know, situation here. But they do feel like they neglected you in one way or another. And with that ten of pentacles in reverse... Um, I do feel like there was a lack of stability, you know, even if the connection was here, which I could see very clearly with that eight of cups, not being able to in reverse, not being able to walk away from you in the star card, feeling like, you know, what you guys share, the connection that you guys share is very special. It still doesn't change the fact that there was a lack of stability. So maybe you wanted more from this connection or you wanted, um, you know, whether it was like more consistency or you wish that um, you guys could, you know, things would progress between the, uh, the both of you in a much uh, you know, faster or, or much more, um, much more quickly, you may have wanted things to like, you know, progress where you felt like it was very complacent. And I will say there's definitely something to do with timing here. So like whether it's this person felt like at the time that they met you, they weren't able to offer you stability or they had a lot on their plate. Now they're looking at the situation like it backfired on them because now they're looking at it like it's too late to do something, you know, about what happened. So what is a star card? The Hierophant in reverse, yeah. This could also be differences in values. Doesn't have to be, guys. But some of you are dealing with the Taurus. Mainly what I see with that um, star card as well as the Hierophant in reverse is this person's having a hard time healing from the fact that you guys are not in a commitment. They were not able to follow through on the promises that they've made you. This is also someone who feels like... I will say this may not be something that they feel, but this is something that I see in the spread is the lesson is not really... Um, has not been um, learned yet. I will say that because with the Hierophant Upright, it could talk about lessons that are being learned through, um, you know, experience and the things that you go through. So there could be something your person is failing to acknowledge, especially with that Page of Pentacles in reverse as well. Um, so whether it's like their wrongdoings, whether it's they, there's a lack of clarity and they feel like they can't really put their finger on why they feel so burdened or why they can't walk away from you. There's this person is still going through that healing process. There's still something that is left for them to learn here is what I see. Um, something else I see guys is the fact that there was, you know, a lack of commitment here is definitely, you know, affecting them. They may also feel like they're like, um, like, the, like during the time, because I'm thinking of how to explain it without it sounding confusing, but during the time of the bond, guys, like it may be that this person felt that they did not know enough about you or about how it was to be in a connection in order for them to proceed with the commitment here. I know that sounds a bit all over the place, but that's what I'm getting. It's kind of like um, either they felt like they were, they needed to get to know you better or they there was a fear about what the future holds. They felt like they did not know enough or they did not feel... Um, and, and that could be the reason why they did not feel comfortable to be in a commitment. So like, for example, Aries, like, you know, especially with the time card, like this person could have felt like they needed more time to think or they needed to, 
uh, you know, they, they wanted more time to get to know you, which is fine. And maybe you were patient with them, but you do feel like they were kind of dragging it, if you will, because as much as they wanted to take their time, they also feel like it backfired on them. So like they feel like they took too long almost. Okay, let's see. Knight of Swords in reverse. So there could be, you know, an argument that your person is very focused on or maybe something that was said between the both of you that cut very deep here. Okay, but I do see this as words. So something that was said or like an argument um, that you guys had here. They may even feel like things happen fairly quickly between the both of you. So we have the King of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, this person feels very connected to you. And with the King of Wands, just touching on your energy for a second here, some of you may feel like this person either brought you out of character, and it's not to say you don't have control over the way that you act, but you may feel like you went against something that you said or, or some sort of promise that you made to yourself. And with the King of Wands in reverse, you may even feel like this person really upset you or this connection was really frustrating where now you are trying to... Um, you know, go back to who you were before the connection or you feel like it really took a toll on you because, you know, King of Wands upright could be your energy, but in reverse, it could be when you feel like you're not in your element or you were brought out of character or something about this connection is not very like the usual you, if you will. Um, and behind that, we do have the Two of Cups, the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, the, this is someone who still loves you and feels connected to you, um, has a lot of emotions for you with the Queen of Cups. But again, Ten of Cups in reverse. That's someone who feels like, well, the commitment couldn't get off the ground or because there was a lack of stability here, I don't know um, what to say or what to do. Do I do I feel connected to Aries? Yes, I do. But I don't know how you know uh, a commitment will come out of this. So it's almost like the way that they feel, they're keeping it suppressed or to their self because they don't really um, see what they can do about it now. Again, they may feel like it's way too late to take some sort of action. What is a Ten of Wands? So very clear message, Queen of Cups again, which we did see on the bottom of the deck and the Ten of Cups in reverse. So the same thing that I said here, Aries, I just feel like it's someone who is feeling connected to you, but they're, they feel like things are um, over and they're not really sure how to reverse the effects of what, have, what they have said or what they have done here. They feel very connected to you in terms of they want to pick up the broken pieces and fix it, but I feel like this may be someone that you were you um, have been in separation with for a while, or it's letting you know that it's in their mind. They feel like it's way too late. What am I going to say now? Like, especially for those of you that haven't been communicating with this person for a while, they may not know how to start a conversation with you, or they may view the situation as so much has changed, I don't really know what to do moving forward. But I can't walk away from Aries either because I feel restless. So what is the Eight of Cups here? Three of Wands. You know what's very interesting here, Aries, in your um, you know future outcome cards? Like they can't walk away from you and like a part of them wants to detach, but they find themselves waiting. It's like they can't control or help how they feel about you. Like they may tell themselves, okay, make, you know, uh, a head over heart decision. You have to move away. You have to let go. But they find themselves reminiscing about you. They find that things around them remind them of you. You know, there's an energy of them still waiting, which is why I said it's an interesting energy. It's like, okay, I have to find a way to detach. You know, this is over or it's too late. But then a part of them's like, I can't, I can't just walk away that easily or or they find themselves, you know, hoping that, you know, you will reach out to them or or something will, you know, transpire between the both of you or they will bump into you that sort of thing. Okay, what is the hierophant in reverse? Yeah very stuck on you with that eight of swords energy i also feel guys like something that they're not showing you is that there's they still feel connected to you because what they're showing you is they're upset or they're frustrated you know or maybe even processing things in a very nonchalant way like well it's too late to do anything about it so i'm not going to reach out but behind that the reason why they feel stuck is because they still feel connected to you they still think of it, think of you and they still have emotions for you. But on the outside, I can see how they may come off as someone who doesn't care or someone who is more so operating from a space of anger or they're holding some sort of grudge here. Bottom of the deck, we have, yeah, the Knight of Cups and then we have the Lovers, so Gemini energy and we also have the Six of Cups. 
And the lovers is in reverse, which means your person may feel like they may, they have finally made a decision or they're ready to apologize, but they may feel like, you know, you're not on the same page as them, or they have now made a decision that you wanted them to make then. So again, something to do with time, right? So what is the Knight of Swords in reverse? Yeah, the Five of Wands. There could have definitely been a conflict that took place between the both of you. And this could have been a conflict pertaining to someone else in their external environment, whether that's you know, another lover, a family member, a friend, you know, five of wands could speak about um, conflict that's going on that you feel powerless about, like you feel like you can't do anything about it, because it's just people around you, and you don't have control over other people's actions. But I do feel that there could have been, you know, an argument about maybe, you know, you you wanted to, you wanted this person to care less about what people thought, or maybe you felt someone else was in the way. And they're still very focused on this conflict here. I also feel like there was a level of competition going on during the course of this bond, whether you felt like you had to compete for this person's attention or whether you felt like, again, they were spreading themselves too thin and you felt that you did not have their undivided attention. What is the Ten of Cups? Yeah, we have the Empress um, in reverse. It's like they're having a hard time seeing how you guys can move on from this obstacle. The Empress of Right could talk about, you know, growth, the potential that you see, but in reverse and the Ten of Cups in reverse, as much as they feel connected to you, they may feel like it would be very difficult for you guys to start off on a new page. So they keep their emotions to their self. The Empress in reverse could also be plans, you know, things not going according to plan. So whether that was you guys uh, plan to have children together, plan to move in together, uh, you know, just, just plans uh, when it comes to growth and moving forward or, or attaining some sort of progress. They may be looking at it like the plans did not come into fruition here or things did not go as planned is, is a better way for me to put it. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. What is the Three of Wands? Knight of Wands. Bottom of the deck, the Seven of Pentacles. So this is what's going on. They're, you know, thinking of you. They are observing the situation. But I'm going to be very honest with you, Aries, with that Knight of Wands energy. Um, I feel like this could be someone who, who is making impulsive decisions or like doing something impulsively to help them, uh, you know, not think about the situation, situation so much. They feel so connected to you. I will say that. But they feel like it's too late to do something about it. And another thing, a part of them is like, they're still focused on a conflict that uh, took place between the both of you. So, you know, the Knight of Wands could be someone who's like traveling more or just casually dating or trying their best to forget about the situation, but they're making very impulsive decisions. And for those of you, you know, um, that feel like this person is involved elsewhere, that could be a, a strictly sexual thing, guys. That's not emotion, like it's not based off of their emotions. This is someone who is making very either like careless decisions or they're just doing something in the spur of the moment so that they don't feel so, um, like they're not focusing on the situation because it brings them a lot of sorrow. That's what I do see here. Um, so let's see what they want to communicate to you. Keep in mind, guys, um, this deck is like the um, In the Shadows uh, Oracle cards. So they're very raw and uncut. So if you don't want to... Um, here, this part of the uh, reading, you can definitely skip past it. Okay. Okay. So we we have, I'm sorry. Okay. Let's see. Anything else? I want to tell you so much. Okay, and then it says, you are not um, part of my plan. So maybe for some of you, this is why we have the Empress in reverse. Maybe you feel like this person was connected to you, but they weren't necessarily thinking about the future. You may feel like they had a different goal. Maybe this person told you that they were more focused on their finances, or they told you that they would, you know, um, they were just not ready for a commitment. Again, whatever they told you then, it has changed now, but they feel like it's too late to tell you that. Okay, one second, guys. I just dropped a card. One second. Okay. Alrighty. Let's just reshuffle. 
I just feel like a decision that they made then, they feel like it was incorrect now, but they feel powerless. It's kind of like, well, what am I going to do with that? Um, the fact that I made a, a, a decision now, or I, I made a different decision now, what is Aries going to do with that information if they just wanted me to be certain, uh, you know, at that time kind of thing? Yeah, I don't know how to let you go. Yeah, I do feel like they are sorry. They are having a hard time letting you go, but with, um, and there may be a lot they want to reveal to you, but with you are not part of my plan. I do feel with the Empress, um, you know, in reverse, maybe they did not expect to fall for you. Maybe they told you that they were in that Knight of Wands energy, or this is something you picked up on later. But the main thing that I'm getting is this may be someone who has made a decision now, but they feel like it feels a bit pointless to them because, you know, so much um, time has passed now. That's what I'm sensing. So my wonderful Aries, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.